Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the instruments, uh, things that you need to purchase in your MBBS because many of you have qualified NEET UG and now are in your first year MBBS, first prof. So what are the things that are really you know, necessary? The instruments that are very important for you as an MBBS student. Now we all know stethoscope, you know, this is sort of a symbol, a representative instrument for you being a doctor. Okay, so uh, the question is which stethoscope to purchase and in which year of MBBS you need to purchase. So I'll try to address that. Number one, you know stethoscopes come in different sizes and different brands. Okay, we all know Litman and we all know there are uh, several cheaper alternatives to Litman. For example, there are stethoscopes as cheap as 1000 rupees, but Litman will cost you, you know, the Litman Classic will cost you about 8000 or 9000 rupees. But which one do I suggest? Well, I believe that if you plan to use something almost daily in your MBBS, then it's better to be of the best quality. See, auscultation of lungs, auscultation of heart sounds, or sometimes auscultation of, of abdomen for breweries or for bowel sounds, this is an important skill you need to learn, a basic clinical skill you need to learn in MBBS. So it's better you, you use the best instrument for, for learning that key skill during your MBBS, right? Now the point is when do you buy this costly instrument? Well I suggest in your third year or maybe at the end of second year because this is the period when you go for clinical rotations in your wards, in your medicine or surgery wards or pediatrics wards. This is the time when you go to these wards for clinical learning and this is when you should purchase a stethoscope and yes ideally you should purchase a Litman but if you cannot afford it definitely I mean it's okay to use something a cheaper alternative okay. Right, so, and in your first year MBBS, you'll be having those, uh, you know, phys physiology practicals where you might be required to purchase a stethoscope. And at that point of time, I don't think buying a lit man in first year MBBS is, is, a, is a good idea. Maybe you can use a cheaper 1000 uh, rupee model for that. Then, now throughout your MBBS, you will require some of these instruments for doing basic examination. For example, a reflex hammer to check the jerks, to check the reflexes in doing neurological examination that everyone should have. I mean, your first year MBBS, you'll be having physiology, physiology practicals, the examination of different systems. And more importantly, as you go to the wards in your third year, in your fourth year, you'll be required to examine patients and do the same in the, in the, in the final prof examination and practicals. So you should be very, uh, you know, comfortable in using these instruments, which is possible if you use them on a daily basis, something like a tuning fork to be used in ENT testing or something like a torch to check different to check different things maybe pupillary reflexes so these basic clinical examination things that are required you need to purchase and they're not they're not very costly maybe 1000 rupee for everything put together a, a reflex hammer a tuning fork maybe a torch light and something like that okay now what about blood pressure apparatus you don't need to purchase this i don't think you should purchase this because you will have this everywhere in your hospital just learn manual blood pressure measurement technique from your hospital technique and then that's all you don't need to buy and and, and carry it in your pocket you don't need to do that maybe if you keep it in your home that's for your own purpose maybe to check blood pressure of some of your relative who comes to visit you for for a general medical advice but for learning purposes, I don't think you should buy a blood pressure apparatus. Then an ophthalmoscope. Now, someone may say, why should I purchase an ophthalmoscope? But yes, this will be helpful in your third year when you're doing ophthalmology. In your final year of MBBS, when you're doing medicine, you're taking rotations in medicine wards, okay? It costs about 10,000 or 9,000 after discounts, different discounts. But why do I suggest you should buy an ophthalmoscope? Because as I mentioned, MBBS is about learning clinical skills. You should be comfortable in looking at patient's fundus. You should be comfortable in telling this is hypertensive retinopathy, this is papil papilledema, or this person has rot spots and so forth. So if MBBS is about learning skills, you should be willing to purchase instruments like ophthalmoscope and be quite comfortable in interpreting fundus. This will help you in MBBS, this will help you in MD. For example, if you join MD medicine or MD pediatrics, this instrument will help you even in, in your MD as well. Your probably in your first year MBBS and you know you, you want to read anatomy, you want to read osteology portion of anatomy or anatomy in general, it requires you to have the skeleton, but no, 
do not buy such an instrument just for, 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 for your personal use. Better use bones that are provided by seniors in your institute, okay, in your college. Or if at all you need to buy, buy this as a group. Maybe four or five students buy the whole skeleton. Uh, here's a, for example, it costs about 8,000 or 9,000 rupees. So better put four or five students purchase it. Then you can study it in a group. Anyways, you just have to know the bones, their, their landmarks and different attachments and so forth. It's okay if you don't purchase it. If you purchase it, purchase it in a group and preferably just ask some senior, he'll provide you skeletal bones, okay? And I also highlight this point here that in your MBBS, it's okay to learn as a group. You need to learn, say, phys physical examination, general physical exam or neurological exam or cardiovascular system exam, learn it as a group. You want to know anatomy, learn it as a group. You know, there's one cadaver, there's a group of students. You need to get your atlas with you and you need to learn as a group, okay? So that's, it's different. MBBS is a different game than your class 11, class 12, okay? You're not one person. You may learn as a group and you may become good doctors as a group, okay? And what about iPad, laptop? Why did I bring this slide here? Because people believe that it's just a must to have for a medical student. But basically it's not must, but it's good to have. Look, um, it's easy to have the PDF versions of all the books in your in your iPad than to carry 10 books in your bag. It's quite easy to have them on your iPad. You can store notes, you can, you can get multiple books of one subject, you know, three books of anatomy, four books of biochemistry, but you can't purchase each one of them as a hard copy, okay? Now, if you can just afford one, please buy a laptop, not an iPad, because a laptop can do so many things that an iPad cannot do, a tablet cannot do, a laptop can do so many things, okay? And remember, MBBS is a beautiful science, Enjoy the journey, feel the science, just enjoy it. And, and please don't join coaching in your first year MBBS. Please don't focus on postgraduate exam. MBBS is a science. MBBS, you need to master the skills. You don't need to prepare for the MCQ exams of NEET PG, okay? So I wish you luck. Thank you.